Welcome to BT Travel. I'm Sabrina, your Bajan tourist, here to guide you on all things Barbadian and vacation. Today we're here with Barbados Smokehouse and we're about to try some of their tender and juicy smoked meats. Let's go. Barbados Smokehouse is a specialty small batch smoked meats business that specializes in pop-up events, delivery, catering, and menu features. We're here at Coca Hill Forest in the beautiful parish of St. Joseph with Johan Calendar of Barbados Smokehouse. Johan, first off, how did you get into the art, I will call it an art, of smoking meat? Um, so I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. and home we do a lot of what we do in here wood barbecue uh -huh. and it was something that very was not very common mm -hmm. and for me barbecue and smoked meats go hand in hand where you're cooking over a fire you're cooking around friends and it's very communal you know th there's something about being out in the forest yes. being behind your friend's backyard yes. you know at home and just having the ability to cook with wood get good meat and just have a good time now I've tried your smoked meat. Yes. I tried them at one of your pop-ups, which was at Red Hop Fury. Correct, yes. And I fell in love with the brisket. Thank you. So tell me, can you share the secret behind Honestly, the key to smoked meat is your labor of love. It's a 14-hour process. And wow. there's no way to rush it. Mm -hmm. You just got to get the best meat you can, yes. the best wood, the best salt, the best pepper. That's it. It's one of the most basic recipes. Everyone says, what did you do to this beef to make it taste like that? And I said, it's four ingredients. Wood, salt, pepper, and good meat. And love. And just, and love. A whole lot of 14 hours of love. <laughs> that's all, that's all it is. Love it, love it. So what do we have here? So today we actually have a locally sourced picanha, some roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. Again, very simply seasoned. Same thing with our picanha, it's very simply seasoned and we're doing some tacos, some meat tacos today. Ooh. And we also, what we like to do, we incorporate a lot of, sometimes we're, we're not able to get local wood, we incorporate a lot of local flavors. So today actually, locally sourced there from Cocoa Hill Forest, this is actually ginger leaves. Nice. So what we're doing today, it's a garlic ginger chicken mm -hmm. roast. So basically, we have our roast and our wood charcoal going. We're gonna, we roasted our chicken on top of our leaves to give it that nice, earthy, gingery, sweet kind of taste today. Um, which is a little different, but you know, we like incorporating all the local flavors. And which is what I mean that a lot of people might choose ginger powder or artificial flavors when honestly, the best seasoning you can do is the most simple. Freshest. Yeah, so we have fresh, we have ginger, we have turmeric, we have all these things around us. So sometimes it's nice to incorporate it. So Love here it. you go, try one of our steak tacos. That, no. Okay guys. Live on camera, I'm about to try. And you called it? It's a steak, it's a picanha steak taco. Picanha steak taco. I sound so funny. Mm. I find it so hard to believe how well flavored it is. With such simple ingredients. Well, you see, the, a lot of the principle behind barbecue is something we have lost. Barbecue actually is a, it comes from an Ar Arawak word mm -hmm. or native. Actually, right here in the Caribbean is where the word barbecue or barbecue or any similar variation actually originated from, mm -hmm. which really is wood and this fat here or fat cap that will be found on the picanha. Mm -hmm. This, uh, with the fat allowing to be dripped onto the fire, creates somewhat of a, that smoky flavor that you taste. So what happens is that as the fat melts, mm -hmm. that falls onto the firewood or your charcoal, which then flashes back up, really? which really gives it that flavor, which is what makes the difference between wood-fired barbecue or wood-fired smoked meat versus gas grill or gas mm -hmm. barbecue or people throwing barbecue sauce on a grill. And that is actually what really chars it and gives it that flavor. It really is good meat. So guys, again, tell us where we can find Barbados. So Barbados Smokehouse, as we said, it's a pop-up based event. Mm -hmm. So we do pop-up catering, we move around the island, sometimes it may be West Coast, South Coast, and then we also take um, orders or deliveries through our social media yes. pages. I saw that, you actually do some mashed potatoes. Yes, so sides. we have some simple sides, and then we also, when you message directly, we can do things like tacos, and we have different menus based on the type of event that you want to have. Well, I love it, I love everything that you're doing with Barbara Smoke House. Thank you. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye-bye. I'm going to enjoy some fine meat. <laughs>